The Big Beaver Creek is an impaired stream with miles of unstabilized banks that lose sediment with every storm. Over time, the stream begins to move and can threaten adjacent land uses. Today, a dedicated group of state employees and volunteers will construct a modified mudsill cribbing to protect the stream banks. As you can see on this plan, the blue line shows where the stream used to be and the photograph shows its location about four years ago. The stream continues to move and threatens the driveway that provides access for three property owners. This is a diagram of what we are constructing today. It's made of hemlock logs and rocks. The Stream Bank Improvement Project on the Big Beaver is in conjunction with the uh, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission to their adopt the stream program. Uh, one of the key components of that program is that is it community organizations have to sponsor it. Um, it's just a great experience for young people to, to see the kinds of things that can be done to stabilize stream banks, uh, improve fish habitat, since this is a stocked trout stream, and uh, you know, just opportunity that they don't get in the classroom. Uh, this type of project that the Fish and Boat Commission and Slanko FFA are doing is important for local water quality, but also uh, regional water quality for the Chesapeake Bay. Locally, we're trying to reduce the sediment and nutrient loads to the creek. We've got a very eroded bank here, and this uh, project will reduce the sediment load. And then nutrient-wise, we'll be planting some trees along here as well. And obviously, that all drains downstream into the larger Chesapeake Bay watershed. So that's why it's important both locally and regionally. The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission stocks the section of the creek with a variety of fish for the opening day of fishing season in early spring. Species may include rock bass, brown trout, and rainbow trout. Okay, the structure we have uh, you see behind me here is a three-section modified mudsill crib. Uh, the purpose of the structure is to provide stable fish habitat in the form of basically a stable undercut bank effect. And as you can see, these logs that are running with the flow are elevated up off the stream bottom so that fish can get underneath them and get away from um, predators and, and stay in the shade and stay cool. Behind the logs, there's going to be rock that's going to be uh, hard armor, so as the water comes up, it's going to hit that hard armor and we're not going to have the soil erosion anymore. Um, so basically, the stable undercut bank effect is the fish habitat and the hard armor rock behind it is going to be your stream bank stabilization. So that's the main purpose of this three-section modified mud set. After six long hours in the hot sun, the bank is stabilized and in the fall the owners will plant native vegetation on the bank to provide shade and habitat for the fish and wildlife that live along this area of the stream.